Okay, look at the question number two from semester two, 2015 exam paper. We've got camera wholesale limited. Camera limited is a wholesale of cameras. Should I read this properly? My actual sales and purchases of inventory for July to October, actually should be July to December there, um, are as follows. And it tells me here that creditors are normally paid in the month following sale of the purchase. So okay, that's important for when I'm doing my expenses. And my receipts from debtors, 40% of pay in the month of sale, 35% in the month following sale, and 25% in the second month following sale. Cameras Limited pays the rent on their shop premises of 2000 and wages of 1500 on a monthly basis. The other cash operating expenses, and it says cash operating expenses will be 6700 The business will be purchasing an additional delivery truck in this November. It will be purchased on credit. The business took out a loan of 45000 in December. Okay. The anticipated bank balance is $6,480 in October. Now the first thing it wants me to do is calculate the anticipated receipts from debtors for November and December for 2015 for Cameras Limited. Show your workings. Now when we look at it here, we've got three pieces of information that tell me how my sales will work. So. All I'm doing is I'm preparing my cash budget for the two months, November and December. So if I sell in September, I get 40% in September, 35% in October and 25% in November. So I really only have to do four months worth of budgeting. And that'll come out in my solution. So let's have a look here. Let's see how you can do it, you know. So I've got my schedule of receipts for Camera Limited. I have here my sales and I'll have them for September, October, November and December. And I'll have my collections over here. And that'll be for November and December. Now my sales, I can get my sales information from over here. So I'm starting in September, so I've got 55,000. 45,000 is my next. 40,000. And 50,000. Now, I'm aiming to... Hang on, just get the right colour pen. Now I'm aiming to make sure my calculations are correct. So it's telling me 40% is paid in the month of the sale. So if I'm selling in September, I'm paying 40% in September. 35% is in the month following sale. So selling in September, 40% in September, 35% in October. And then it's telling me 25% is in the second month following sale. So that'll make... 25% in November. <coughs> if I sell in October, I collect 40% in October, I collect 35% in November and 25% in December. I'm selling it in, in November, I collect 40% in November, 35% in December. And I collect, I'm um, selling in December and I'm collecting 40% in December and obviously the rest in the months after December. So now I just need to do some calculations to determine what my collections are. So let's have a quick look. I've got 55,000 <coughs> times 0.25 equals 13,750. <coughs> I got 45,000 times 35%, so let's try that one. Equals 15,750. 
And I've got 25% by 45,000. 11,250. 40% uh, of 40,000 is 16,000. 30% of 40, 35% is 14,000. And we've got 40% of 50,000 is 20,000. All right, so now I just need to get some totals. What have I got? Seven for the 500. I've got 28, 29, 39, 45. I've got 20, 34, uh, 44, 45, 45, 250. And that's my cash receipts. So I can now tick off question A. Question number B says, prepare a cash budget for cameras limited for November and December for 2015, showing the monthly breakdown in one budget. Okay, so my cash receipts, or my cash budget, cameras limited, for two months alright so now I have my November and my December and I start with my cash receipts So my cash receipts, now all we're really doing here is we're just transferring these amounts down from here. So I've got 45500 and 45250 um, So now I can tick off those pieces of information because I've used that. Uh, that's all expenses, that's on credit. This is a loan, so we've taken out a loan. So I've got a loan here, and when we get my loan in December 2015, so 45,000 here. I'll tick off that information, this is it. Okay, so that's my cash receipts. No, it should be 90. $90,250. Next I'll have my cash payments. So my cash payments will start with purchases because we've got my purchases. Now creditors are normally paid in the month following the sale. So if I'm purchasing in September I'm actually paying in October. If I'm purchasing in October, I'm paying in November. Purchasing in November, I'm paying in December. So the figures that I really want are these two items here because my October purchases will be paid in November and my November purchases will be paid in December. So let's have a look at my purchases of inventory. We've got 29250 and 26000 So I can tick off my purchases. Next is my expenses and it says that they pay rent of 2000 per month. So I can tick off my rent. Wages of 1500 per month. And operating expense of 6700 per month. Have I got anything else? No. So I can total these off. What have I got here? I've got 26, 28, 29, 500, 35, 
And what have I got? 250, 750, 450. And I've got 30, 32, 33, 39. 39, 450. So that's my cash payments. Now, my net cash flow. My net cash flow is just my cash receipts minus my cash payments. So my net cash flow will then come out at, what have we got, 6,050. And we've got 90,000 less 36. Uh, 90,000 less 36 will give me 54,050. Opening cash balance. Now my opening cash balance is given to me over here. So my opening cash is the closing one day, it's the opening the next day. So 6480. And that'll give me my closing cash balance. So what have I got? I've got 12,530. Now my closing cash balance becomes my opening the next month. So I have 12,530 and I'm adding it to my net cash flow. So I should really draw lines there. Adding it to my net cash flow of 54,050 uh, makes 66,580. Now the last question is, on the 1st of January 2016, the payment is due for the delivery truck. Will Cameras Limiters be able to make the $75,000 payment? So what it's asking us to do is compare this amount here with my closing cash balance. And it's asking, can we make this payment? The answer is no. The business... will have to seek additional finance. Either a loan or bank overdraft. Oh. Can I get all that on one page? There you go.